I kind of like it. It's kind of cool looking. It makes me look like a uh, Spartan or whatever. Like, look at the side of profile real quick. What's up, fellas? Long time no see. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know it's been so long since I made a video. Um, if you guys can't tell, I recently moved into a new apartment. And so it's been really busy with my new role at my company, as well as moving, getting settled in, and a whole bunch of other things. But I know it's been some time. I might look a little different. My hair's grown a little bit longer, as you can tell. So the beard's been growing uh, a lot as well. I'll be getting into that today. So I've been applying, like I said, if you guys watch my earlier videos, Minoxidil 5% topical solution or essentially Rogaine on my face to see if I can get any notable facial hair growth. And this is pretty much the results after four months. So as you guys can see, I still have that same facial hair line right here after four months of Minoxidil. Like I said, I don't know if this is all completely attributable to the Minoxidil. It could be that I just stopped cutting it for once and I just finally grew it out. It could be that I'm older, I'm more mature, so I have a more mature hairline because I didn't have any of this when I was in high school, right? However, I just want to give you guys the facts and my experience with it. So I want to show you guys my progression photos with the beard growth. So right here, the first picture that I took, I basically shaved everything down. And this is right when I first started using Minoxidil. You can tell I have some facial hair uh, around the cheeks and especially underneath the chin. Here in the next picture though, you also can see some growth starting to come in, uh, mostly around underneath the neck and the cheeks. Next to the three month mark, you can really see the growth difference between my mustache and my beard underneath my chin. You can really tell that my mustache is lacking a lot further behind than the rest, but you can really see a lot of facial hair growth happening. Now, this isn't completely for Minoxidil. I mean, I have been shaving for a few months, right? So there's a few factors to consider. And here is the final photo, guys. This is a picture that I took right before I edited this video. And you can really see that I have a really strong development underneath my chin and it was shaped up to square off and you also can see development around my cheeks as well. And keep in mind guys, this was all pretty much not touched. So my mustache was never cut or trimmed or anything like that. It just grew that much slower. That's just my genetics, you know? Um, here's a quick before and after picture so you guys can see. You can really tell the difference. This is four months of growth. Um, it was a really cool experiment and I enjoyed doing it, but I, I probably will grow it out again sometime in the future, but for now with the summer, I'm gonna keep it shaved. And so for the conclusion, would I do it again? Me? Probably not. Uh, would I recommend it to you? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, if you're an older guy and you already have the maturity in your facial hair, and you can actually possibly grow a beard, I don't see there being a problem with you using Minoxidil to give it every little bit of enhancement as you can just to get the beard that you really want. For me, unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like my genetics want me to really have that full beard. So some people have patches, some people can only grow a big mustache, some people can only grow hair under here. I have this genetic here. Some people say it looks like Wolverine, um, whatever the case may be. That pretty much is the video, guys. I'm just gonna make it real short, real sweet as I'm getting back into these things. Um, new content coming soon, I promise. And also, I'd like to also get a brand new camera, brand new microphone, because currently I'm working with a ring light in my phone and a little lavalier microphone. So hopefully, as I'm accumulating more income, I can then use it and invest it into equipment to make better videos for you guys. And if you guys have not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel if you guys want more videos on men's lifestyle, fashion, grooming, fragrances, whatever you guys want. I'm interested in everything. I wanna give you guys the best experience possible on this channel. I'm gonna show up some other videos right here if you guys wanna check them out. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I am back, it's official, and I will catch you guys all in that next one.